Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we are looking at Frank Green, um, an Australian company founded in Melbourne in 2013. Uh, it has won a variety of design and innovation worlds, uh, innovation awards from about 2015 and has since been expanded worldwide. I think they, I believe they have a Hong Kong and a UK website, maybe a US website as well. Uh, Frank Green is designed to be is designed to not only be reusable but recyclable at the end of their life and can be customizable in any color and with design features including um, so this one here um, this one here is this style so this has like a this is like a plastic um, polymer um, so that is the fill line um, and obviously it has here instructions it's bpa fee free do not microwave contents may be hot uh, clean before use made in australia designed registered patent pending and it's at top shelf of the um top shelf of the dishwasher only microwavable safe without lid contents may be hot obviously clean before use and so that's on the bottom and obviously it is also this is like a this uh, the plastic that they use is recyclable and then they have this type of push button lid and then that's the inner core okay so this one here is um, this steel and on the inside, this is the a tea strainer. That so this is the tea strainer, and then this is ceramic on the inside, um, and then this is the and the lid is exactly the same design feature um, as you can see with that on the inside. So that. This one here is obviously a bit bigger than this one here in spite of them being the same size on the outside. Um, again, this one here has a max fill line of um, 10 ounces, 295 mil, and this one here is 12 ounces or 340 mil. So there is a 45 mil difference between this one and this one. But this one obviously keeps it colder or hotter for longer than this one because this one here has it escape out the bottom. So, and obviously you do not need to have this tea strainer um, in use. Um, you can also, they also come um, obviously with a multitude of different colours. This is the colour that I had <laughs> grabbed. But um, they also, um, there is a plastic one, obviously, like this one. There's a ceramic pay wave. There's a ceramic one, which is this one. There is a pay wave visa preloader. There are different button lids. There are sports lids. They have um, an up to five letter customizable print. Um, so you can have your initials on there, or you can have a word on there, or you can have a name on there. Um, and uh, so, as I said, this is the kind of plastic one. This is the ceramic double-walled one, um, and they both have the classic design features. Um, there are multiple different shapes and sizes from these co type of coffee cups to uh, like water bottles as well. Um, and the water bottles, I think, come up into one point. 125 litre I think um, so these are actually as you can tell from the lid design actually leak proof um, which is actually my biggest um, thing that I like about this company and because it, it was my actual biggest issue with keep cups you know that I have keep cups like this one here um, is my um, small I have a small keep cup and a big keep cup um, that I have um, this small keep cup. The big keep cup doesn't actually keep in 
my art in a bag. I just have that on usually on my desk. So this glass and cork keep a cup, but it actually leaks out the top and it leaks out this bit here. So this is actually not in any way um, leak proof, which obviously isn't a problem if you're at a desk or sitting there and you can clean it out. But if you're on the run and you've got um, a coffee, then uh, you want to shove it in your bag, then this actually then creates a problem because it will leak throughout your bag. Um, this is just a, um, a closet bag that I had um, spare that I shove in there, but still even that won't stop um, the leaks from happening. So it's actually one of the things that I like about this lid is it doesn't leak in my bag. Um, so it kind of clears up that frustration, but that means you do have to take this apart, this like inside part apart, and take out the lid to actually clean the inside of this properly. Otherwise it actually starts to kind of get a little bit janky and smelly. So basically that's kind of the trade-off, um, is that this is easier to clean, um, but leaks, this is harder to clean and needs to be disassembled and reassembled but doesn't leak. So they're the two kind of options that you're going to be looking at. Um, so this has to be done depending on obviously what you're drinking, but at least on a semi-regular basis. Otherwise it can smell and be gross. Um, it can also take a very annoying amount of time to dry. This bit here, the lid can take quite a bit of time to dry. Um, and but you can actually get them in all matching or all different colors so you can actually get like this is obviously kind of a coffee cup coffee cup version but you can get them in a smaller size you can get them in a water bottle size and you can get them all in matching colors so in actual fact you can have the entire set that's customizable to your choice um so uh yeah I mean, that's, I do actually enjoy them. I actually ended up, I think, loaning this one to my flatmate. So he's actually had it for a while um, so that he can take it um, with him when he goes out. Um, and um, he kind of likes it too because it doesn't spill in the car. Um, as you can tell, some of the this, this scratches on it from being thrown around in my bag a lot. So that's probably the other thing is that um, these do get a little bit, um, kind of janky because they do get thrown around um, so that is what they look like we'll set them there um, so basically I kind of gave this plasticky one to my flatmate and he can and he's been um, using it obviously when he goes out um, I will link the website down below um, I do like them. They aren't particularly that cheap. Um, if they want to send me a water bottle, that would be great. But um, they're not particularly that cheap. But I do actually really like them and they are really high quality. And you do kind of sometimes get what you pay for. This is one of those examples. Um, the website obviously will be linked down below, as I've said. Up on screen will be um, links to a review playlist and the subscribe button. Both are, of course, optional, but if you want to see some of the other things that I've reviewed, including the Keep Cup, you can go and have a look. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your morning, evening or afternoon, depending on where you are, of course, in the day. And I will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.